Welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips. This is one is all about how you start your right arm and then how it plays a part through that impact position. How by doing things wrong, we can start to lose power and distance and also the quality of strike. And there's some very simple drills that we're going to look at today. Three phases effectively, two that are really about setting that position and that elbow in the right arm in the correct position at the top of the swing, and then how we start to release and straighten our arm, where we straighten our arm through that impact position. The video comes from uh, the man at the top of the tree, in my opinion, Danny Maud. And like I said, three very simple phases as to what we've got to consider. First of all, what are the problems? Well, it's about sort of the, the, the first problem, apart from our setup, which we'll go through very shortly and how it's going to help, is how we start releasing the ball as sort of amateur golfers, average golfers, the bits that we do wrong. And we'll often sort of, our arms will straighten and we'll release very early. And we often get that top in effect. We certainly don't hit down on the ball and compress. And that's that kind of different position. You'll see my elbow is tucked in. And that's something we're going to work on in today's video. Instead, what we tend to do, maybe a little bit behind the ball, start to straighten our arms early we get that sort of flipping motion it can have all kinds of negative impacts on your swing but the fact is how do we get that elbow into that sort of tucked in position to make sure that we are compressing the ball well it's about a couple of feels really we're going to start with and phase one is all about the setup and i was going to say it's about your grip i'm going to roll up my sleeve because it's something that danny does and i think it's important as a visual if I adopt my sort of standard grip, this is it. And my two forearms are very much facing each other. It's just something that um, I'm struggling to adopt this technique about what I'm about to tell you. What Danny asks us to do is start off a bit differently. And that's with our palm and our forearm facing up to the sky. Now, instead of rotating our arm in and getting a very sort of tucked in position and adopting a grip, we're going to just rotate the wrist and then we're going to adopt a grip. Now, what that also does, it sets my shoulder again a little bit open to allow for that rotation rather than this position, which again is very close, makes it very difficult in terms of uh, restrictions on that backswing. So very simply, I'll explain that one again. Palm and forearm to the sky rotate the hand and your wrist but keep the forearm where possible facing to the sky and like i said get that feeling of that right, right shoulder being a little bit set back and open and what that does it allows us to go from this sort of setup position at address into a very good position at the top of the backswing elbows in a nice position it allows freedom of movement rotation is good that's phase one of the drill. We've got to the top of the swing, but there's another little bit of a nugget. If that one doesn't sink in, then we're gonna use phase two as another little bit of a thought process that might help you get that sort of shoulder opened and get that forearm opened and get you into a good position with that right arm before we start to look at the downswing. So the next little drill that um, Danny talks about has me a little bit confused. Danny uses a dumbbell. Now I don't own dumbbells, never will do, but what he looks at is a bicep curl and he talks about this movement. So I'll get the kind of forearm to the sky bit, but then he turns his wrist in. So that's a bit more like the position we've adopted. So that if you think about it, forearm to the sky, dumbbell in hand that's the kind of curl that you're going to look to do and then what you're going to do is simply from this position imagine that you're taking that dumbbell up to your top right hand so this is the kind of movement that you're making so it's the same kind of principle the same kind of effect as what we've had from that uh, current position arm up and we're getting into that position but if you want to visualize something then that idea of dumbbell turn the wrist in and then what you're going to simply do is look to turn turn that dumbbell into that top position there so if i was holding a golf club that's exactly where we'd end up being so two simple drills into getting us into the top of that backswing with that sort of elbow in a good strong position now we've got to look to do is how we sort of get that elbow through club head through and where our hands play a part and how we generate power pushing through that shot and danny uses a very simple analogy and i like this one He's got some video footage of him splashing kids, his kids, in the swimming pool. So if you're taking some water off the top and looking to soak them as best you can, the way you would do that is you'd have your elbow tucked in and you'd use your hips, your full body, to generate that splash. That's the feeling that we're looking to adopt now from this top of the backswing with club in hand. We've got to get that same feeling of generating 
let me pick up a club to, to sort of get better demonstration of that. So let me go through that. I'm in this position and now what I'm looking to do is drill with that uh, right elbow tucked in and then I'm looking to turn and rotate. So the visual is you've turned and you're splashing your kids absolutely soaking them how would you do that well you'd use your hand but to generate the most amount of power if we were throwing a ball another same sort of concept that's what you do elbow tucked in look to turn push off with the right heel and then you'd be looking to generate as much power as you can through that impact position and that's what we're going to get and hopefully leads to that compression on the ball so all that said all i need to do is put those pieces together and try and hit a golf ball with it right first ball you see me hit was a uh, it was okay Okay, but a much better strike and uh, quick look down on the ground again and it's been ball then turf which is that compression element that hopefully you're seeing through either of these cameras anyway but it's great to sort of drill down the difference between shots one and two for me was just a real um, effort to get that elbow feeling like it was sort of tucked in when I started to make the downswing and then it's important as well to generate that power that splash through and they're great visualizations in my opinion love that idea a splashing water off the top of the pool or throwing a ball I feel like if you don't get that bit right and you're just a little bit too tentative with it you could have some negative effects and I'm talking about possibly even sort of delivering a club with a very open club face um, that's my thoughts anyway so what I'm really concentrating on is making sure elbow tucked in and I'm starting to get uh, chest belt buckle uh, push off with the right foot everything facing that way and that club head is coming along with me so superb drill in my opinion another great video from Danny Maud as ever um, you know my explanation is this I'm an average golfer just like you they're my interpretation of what I consider to be the best tips out there right now but sometimes there might be a little bits that I get wrong or don't quite explain to your liking so always go down to the link below check out Danny's video because we'll always provide that you can see here's maybe more thorough explanation and uh, between the two of the videos hopefully it help improve your golf game in some way and make it all a little bit more enjoyable right that's me done as ever thanks for watching I'll see you all soon